When Xiao Yan suffered the shame of withdrawing from his marriage, the Xiao family suffered huge humiliation. When Xiao Yan shouted, 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, don't deceive the young to be poor. At this moment, the elders of the Xiao family remained calm and said, okay, the gambling agreement is established. After experiencing countless hardships and successfully terminating his contract, Xiao Yan returned to the Xiao family. Seeing the Xiao family heritage displayed by the Xiao Zhan clan leader, you can first make do with these fighting skills, medicinal materials, and other resources. This is Yao Lao, Zio Yanzi, why is your family so rich? Xiao Yan, Master, I don't know either. Father, tell me this is not true. No, that's true. Keywords of the novel, Do Pa Xiao Clan I Saint No Pop-Ups, Do Pa Xiao Clan I Saint TXT Complete Collection Download, Do Pa Xiao Clan I Saint Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1, Xiao Han of the Xiao Family you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Xiao Han of the Xiao Family The Capital of the Gama Empire, the Xiao Family Council Hall At this moment, everyone in the Xiao family was filled with worries, and their clan leader Xiao Lin had suffered heavy damage in his battle with the Warcraft, leaving him powerless. And without the Dou Wang, the Xiao family will surely be targeted by the enemies of the past. With the current strength of the Xiao family, Resisting stubbornly is no different from digging one's own grave. At this point, it is already raining and the wind is blowing all over the building. Bang, a chair shattered in response. That group of dog day creatures, one by one, are like wild dogs, all trying to bite our flesh. At this moment, Xiao Zhan was full of blood and was furious at the actions of other forces who had fallen into the pit and laid stones. Young clan leader, calm down. The most important thing for us now is how to protect the Xiao family. That's right, we'll come back after the big deal, the elders next to us were all persuading. Ah, uh, upon hearing these words, Xiao Zhan was immediately doused with cold water and remained silent for a long time, eventually turning into a sigh. No matter how tough he is, he cannot change the fact that the Xiao family is weak now. Consider future strategies. After pondering for a long time, he could only helplessly say, after my father passes away, our Xiao family will withdraw from the city of Gamadi. Then he collapsed into his seat as if completely powerless. Yes, the elders looked at each other and agreed bitterly. They also knew that without the protection of the powerful Dou Wang, the Xiao family now looked like a coveted treasure in the eyes of others. Even former allies are now thinking of taking advantage of this opportunity to gain some benefits. The way to save one's life is to bravely retreat from the current. Hmm. What happened? Just then, a figure in white suddenly appeared in the hall. Who are you? How did you break into my Xiao family? The crowd was startled by the sudden appearance, and the elder asked in a stern voice. I saw the man with long black hair scattered on his shoulders, sword eyebrows and starry eyes, a slender figure, dressed in white clothes that were spotless and elegant. If you walk around the street, you can easily captivate a large number of young girls and daughter-in-law. However, at this time, the members of the Xiao family did not pay attention to the man's appearance, only felt strange about his appearance. Not only did it appear silently, but under their perception, the person in front of them had a calm and serene aura, yet it was as vast as a vast ocean. Even the chieftain Xiao Lin cannot be compared to him. Are you here to destroy my Xiao family? At this moment, the senior management of the Xiao family suddenly felt a sense of despair. What happened to the Xiao family? Who is your clan leader? Where is he? The man spoke again, with a hint of displeasure in his tone. This man in white is none other than the protagonist Xiao Han, who is also a traveler. However, he wore it too early and directly became the great-grandfather of Xiao Yen. Xiao Yen doesn't know where to stay now. Perhaps as a benefit of being a traveler, Xiao Han has shown a strong talent for cultivation since the beginning of his cultivation. In addition, he, who was unwilling to be lonely, 
left the Xiao family a long time ago to venture into the mainland, and accidentally became trapped in a secret realm, directly trapped for hundreds of years. I just got out of trouble recently and immediately rushed towards the Xiao family without stopping. Of course, blessings and misfortunes depend on each other, and it is precisely through this secret realm that Xiao Han successfully broke through the holy realm, reached the six-star fighting saint, and gained a large amount of resources. However, when Xiao Han arrived above the Xiao family, he was surprised to find that the Xiao family was full of panic and busyness at this moment. Feeling confused, he used his soul power to perceive and then found the current high-level officials of the Xiao family to inquire about the situation. What? Xiao Zhan now feels puzzled by the handsome man in front of him. Aren't you here to cause trouble? Xiao Zhan boldly asked, Senior, aren't you here to trouble the Xiao family? Hmm. Xiao Han couldn't understand, why do I have to trouble the Xiao family? Ha everyone breathed a sigh of relief, the Xiao family has been saved, and my life is still here. Do you dare to ask Senior who? Xiao family, Xiao Han, Xiao Han simply replied. Xiao Han. At this moment, the Xiao family could no longer sit still, and Xiao Zhan stood up directly, are you Uncle Xiao Han? It's not surprising that Xiao Zhan is so impolite. Xiao Han's experience is truly a legend of the Xiao family. As the top genius of the Xiao family, Xiao Han is even well known throughout the entire Gamma Empire. Practicing Qi at the age of four, fighting at the age of eight, fighting master at the age of nine, fighting master at the age of eleven, breaking through the spirit of fighting before the age of thirteen, and then traveling to the mainland after the age of fifteen. In everyone's eyes, Xiao Han is sure to be able to break through the Dozong, even in the legendary realm of the Venerable. However, Xiao Han had not returned to the Xiao family for a hundred years, and everyone thought he had died young on the road to the peak. This also made the Xiao family quite sad. But now, Xiao Han has returned. With his talent, at least he is a strong member of the Do sect. With Xiao Han in charge, the Xiao family will inevitably rise. That's right, I'm that Xiao Han, Xiao Han said, almost losing patience. Answer my question just now, I'll tell you about my situation later. At this moment, Xiao Zhan fully demonstrated the professional cultivation of the young clan leader and answered fluently, report to uncle, the current leader of the Xiao family is my father Xiao Lin, but his father is seriously injured now. I will act as the representative for the affairs of the Xiao family. Xiao Han was a bit excited at this moment. Is it my older brother's son, Xiao Lin? Xiao Zhan nodded in affirmation. Then, Xiao Han's face darkened and he said, Now take me to see him. Yes. At this moment, Xiao Lin was unconscious. Looking at the terrifying wound on Xiao Lin's body, he almost split him in half. If it weren't for the fighting spirit cultivation of the Do Wang powerhouse, he would have died long ago. Suppressing his inner anger, Xiao Han took out a pill and helped Xiao Lin take it down. At the same time, he used his internal fighting energy to help him heal his injuries. Others also looked at Xiao Han with an expectant expression on their faces. After about half an hour, Xiao Han regained his fighting spirit. It's okay, everyone's faces lit up. Just as they were about to say something, they were stopped by Xiao Han's gaze. After gesturing to everyone, he walked out with a calm expression on his face. Xiao Han has had a close relationship with his elder brother Xiao Lai since childhood. They have caused trouble together, indulged in prostitution. They have explored the land of wind and moon, shared blessings, and had difficult relationships. Under the love of the house and the crow, Xiao Han also took great care of Xiao Lin when he was young, and every time he returned to the Xiao family, he would bring him many good things. Xiao Lin also likes his uncle very much, and their relationship is not bad. It is impossible for Xiao Han not to be angry now that Xiao Lin has suffered such a serious injury. I was just eager to recover Xiao Lin's injury, so I didn't delve deeper. But now is also the time to calculate the general ledger. Returning to the conference hall, Xiao Han asked with a gloomy expression, 
what is the current situation of the Xiao family? As the pillar of the Xiao family, Xiao Lin has suffered such serious injuries that it is impossible not to cause unrest. The situation of the Xiao family is definitely not good. Therefore, Xiao Han did not go too far, but directly asked about the detailed situation of the Xiao family. End of this chapter. Chapter 2, Secret Stories of the Xiao Family You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Secret Stories of the Xiao Family Uncle, the current situation of our Xiao family is really not good, Xiao Zhan could only speak bitterly about Xiao Han's inquiry. Thinking of the recent decline in the power of the Xiao family, my own strength is insufficient, and I am struggling to handle affairs. I feel even more ashamed and embarrassed. Then, Xiao Zhan gave a detailed introduction to the current situation of the Xiao family. As Xiao Zhan's words continued to fall, Xiao Han's face became increasingly gloomy. In the past, although the Xiao family did not have a Dou Wang powerhouse, there were at least five people at the Dou Ling level. But now the Xiao family is completely relying on Xiao Lin, a fighting king, to forcefully support themselves. After Xiao Lin had an accident, he couldn't bear it anymore. And Xiao Lin was also able to enter the realm of King Dou because Xiao Han had provided a large amount of resources and laid a good foundation, otherwise he would at most be a Dou Ling. It seems that the influence of bloodline is quite significant, Xiao Han said seriously. Others are all at a loss, bloodline, what does that mean? After that, keep talking, Xiao Han waved his hand. This is the entire situation of my Xiao family now, Xiao Zhan concluded, but since you have returned, uncle, we naturally don't have to leave the imperial capital. At this point, everyone in the Xiao family had a joyful expression on their faces. At this moment, Xiao Han suddenly spoke, no, we must leave and find a remote small town to settle down. Why is that, uncle? Xiao Zhan looked puzzled. After all, abandoning his basic skills and running to a remote corner would not be acceptable to normal people. Avoiding the impending disaster of my Xiao family, Xiao Han slowly gave his answer. Seeing the hesitant expressions of the few people, Xiao Han added, it's not the current situation. You can wave your hand to eliminate it in this difficult situation in front of you, but the Xiao family still has a hidden enemy, which is the big enemy that concerns the survival of the Xiao family. Uncle, could you please explain in detail? Upon hearing Xiao Han's words, Xiao Zhan did not doubt it, but asked solemnly. He has heard of his uncle's personality and is not the kind of person who speaks recklessly. It is obvious that this is a formidable enemy that even Xiao Han cannot cope with. Xiao Han hesitated for a moment and uttered two words, Emperor Clan. At this point, everyone was no longer calm. Even the Xiao family, who are located in a small country in the northwest, have heard of the imperial clan. Xiao Zhan exclaimed in surprise, Is it the imperial clan that even possesses the power of the Dou Sheng? Yes. The imperial clan, which refers to the clan where the Dou Emperor once existed. There are countless powerful warriors in the Dou Wang Dou Huang realm, as well as many Dozong Dozuan. There are also powerful warriors within the Doshing Emperor clan that are difficult to find from the outside world. This news frightened the Xiao family greatly. How could we have enemies like the Imperial clan? Yeah, it's really over now. The hall of a few people was suddenly disturbed by dozens of people. At this moment, Xiao Zhan remained relatively calm and said, I dare to ask uncle, why do you say we have enemies like the Imperial clan? For them, my Xiao family is just an ant. What intersection does it have with them? Xiao Han gave Xiao Zhan a appreciative glance and said, Not bad, you are very suitable to serve as the clan leader. Faced with the imperial clan, Xiao Zhan's reaction can be said to be quite calm, even able to grasp the key in time. Even some top-notch forces in Zhongzhou may not be able to match him when they hear about the imperial clan. Hi hi uncle you're too praised. Xiao Zhan smiled humbly. Then Xiao Han began to explain, from now on, I say, you listen. Understood. Under Xiao Han's lecture, 
a painting scroll unfolded. You all know, my talent is still decent. Upon hearing this, everyone else silently wiped away their sweat. Just like you, it's just okay. Are we useless? But none of them interjected. After cultivating to the level of doling, I accidentally discovered that my Shao family was not a local force of the Gamma Empire, and then I began to wonder about our origins. At this point, Xiao Han smiled helplessly and said, I didn't expect that with this investigation, we will be on a path of no return. I traveled and searched, and in the end, I found Zhongzhou. At this moment, the Xiao family was shocked and didn't expect their background to be so big. Finally, I realized that my Xiao family was also an imperial clan. The shocking words shattered the silence of the Xiao family hall. What? The elders felt that their shock over the past few decades was not as much as it is today. My Xiao family was once one of the eight ancient tribes of the Xiao clan, and our ancestor Xiao Xian was also the pinnacle of power on the mainland. However, next up is what I mean by potential enemies. At this moment, the people in the hall instinctively tightened their bodies. A thousand years ago, our Xiao tribe erupted into a great war with the Soul tribe, which is also one of the eight tribes. In the end, our ancestors were besieged, severely injured, and fell. The Xiao tribe was defeated, and the remaining members scattered and fled. During this millennium, the Soul clan has never given up chasing us. Now, perhaps we are the only remaining descendants of the Xiao ethnic group. Why do they want to exterminate us all? Xiao Zhan raised his own question again, if it's hatred, shouldn't it be like this? Is there anything that attracted them to us? Not bad, Xiao Han was very pleased. Their goal is the Tuasha ancient emperor Jade, the ethnic Jade of our Xiao family. Xiao Zhan quickly took out the clan chief's Jade pendant and said, is this the ancient imperial jade? No wonder he is like this. Since ancient times, there have been no simple goods that can be related to the emperor, let alone the life and death enemies of the Xiao family. This jade is probably more important than one's own life. Not bad, this is one of the eight fragments of the ancient emperor jade. Collecting all the fragments will open the ancient emperor's cave and reveal the secret of becoming emperor. In fact, it is the existence of this ancient imperial jade that has confirmed me that the Xiao family is the former Xiao clan. At this point, the Xiao family completely understood that even if the Xiao family did nothing, they must confront the Soul clan themselves. The secret of Emperor Cheng is worth going crazy about for everyone. No one has proposed anything to protect the safety of the jade. We have all reached this point, and we can only live and die. If we continue to compromise, we will inevitably die without a place to bury ourselves. So why do we have to stay away from the imperial capital? Isn't it more suitable for our development in the imperial capital? At this point, the elder asked a question. Because in the imperial capital, we are easily subject to attention and the possibility of exposure greatly increases. Xiao Zhan directly answered this question on behalf of Xiao Han. Not bad, if I take action at this time, the Xiao family will definitely be at the peak of their lives after the Gama Empire, which can easily attract the attention of the Soul Clan's Claw and Tooth Soul Hall. And now the Xiao family is weak and uncontrollable. Even if there is me, I am not a match for the Soul Palace. It can even be said that if the Soul Palace finds out about my existence, it will further strengthen their strength and determination to destroy the Xiao family. May I ask, uncle's current strength? Do Sheng. Hiss. The Xiao family has made outstanding contributions to climate change. Do. Do Sheng. At this moment, Xiao Han struck and said, so what about Do Sheng? He still has no way to take the soul hall. Once they take action, I won't be able to protect you at all. Moreover, there is still the soul clan behind them. At this moment, everyone suddenly came to their senses. Indeed, the news of Xiao Han becoming a saint made them subconsciously ignore the enemy of the Soul Clan. Uncle, what should we do next? End of this chapter
Chapter 3, Langya Pavilion in Zhongzhou You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Langya Pavilion in Zhongzhou Just follow your original plan and execute it, Xiao Han said. Where were you going to withdraw back then? Wutan City, worried that Xiao Han might not be clear, Xiao Zhan added, that is an extremely remote small city, and the power within the city is average, fully meeting the requirements. Very good, and besides, when Xiao Lin wakes up, don't let out any news that he is still alive. Tell him to conceal his identity, Xiao Han instructed. You should be prepared first and wait for me to come back. Yes. Seeing that everyone in the Xiao family was full of fighting spirit, Xiao Han left satisfied. The intelligence that Xiao Han mentioned today was not only discovered by him, but also known by himself long ago. This is to put enough pressure on them, to broaden their horizons and save them from making a fuss on this acre of land. Over the Warcraft Mountains, Xiao Han's soul power unfolded, and the corner of his mouth slightly raised, I found you. Suddenly, the space twisted and Xiao Han walked in. He came here for nothing else, it was to find the hegemon of this mountain range, the Purple Crystal Winged Lion King. At this time, the Purple Crystal Winged Lion King was only a sixth-level intermediate warcraft, lazily sunbathing in front of the cave. What a comfortable life, sighed the Purple Crystal Winged Lion King. In his long life as a beast, besides fighting, sunbathing was one of his few pleasures. Suddenly, a man in white walked out of the space in front of him. Hello. The Purple Crystal Winged Lion King suddenly stood up, trembling all over. I don't know if you have any advice, senior. I, old Z, will definitely know everything and speak without hesitation. I will do my best to be a cow and a horse. Xiao Han's mouth twitched, surprisingly so timid. No wonder the purple crystal winged Lion King is so sincere. The person in front of him, according to his bloodline, should bow down and not flee, let alone resist. Forget it, Xiao Han gave up. I'm here to ask for your help. No problem, senior, you can give me a direct command. I have nothing to say to Lao Zi, he said while patting his chest with his paws to ensure. As a reward, I. It's an honor to do things for our seniors without any compensation, how can we receive rewards? The purple crystal winged Lion King quickly stopped. Yeah, you're going to test me. Fortunately, we are smart and witty. The purple crystal winged Lion King smiled proudly in his heart. Looking at the slightly lewd smile of the purple crystal winged Lion King, Xiao Han didn't know what he had imagined. He simply quoted his price, one washing pill. The purple crystal winged Lion King immediately became entangled. On the one hand, it was worried that this would be a test. If it agreed, the strong one in front of it would directly take his magic crystal, on the other hand, he really needs this pill. For a moment, the purple crystal winged Lion King became entangled and occasionally looked at Xiao Han. Xiao Han couldn't help but throw his hand and a jade bottle appeared in front of the purple crystal winged Lion King. Quickly accept it, don't fuss. The Lion King was overjoyed, yes. I opened it and took a look, feeling it, that's right. Later, when I remembered, there was also a respected elder who respectfully said, What instructions do you have, senior? A contract appeared in front of the purple crystal winged Lion King, and at first it looked solemn, thinking that the person in front of it wanted to become his servant. When he finished reading all the content, he immediately happily signed it. Without him, the content of this contract is simply welfare. All he needs to do is regularly provide a large amount of medicinal herbs and secretly arrange for Warcraft to protect some humans. For the leader of the Warcraft Mountains, this is just a matter of talking. Not only can you obtain a scroll of ground-level techniques, but you can also occasionally obtain pills. He even hugged the thigh of a top performer like this. I thought today was a disaster, but I didn't expect it to be an opportunity. The Welfare Bureau this wave. But after signing, the purple crystal winged Lion King reacted and asked cautiously, I dare to ask senior, 
why are you offering such good conditions, even if you force it directly? You don't need to worry about this, just do it according to the contract. Before it could finish speaking, Xiao Han interrupted. As the purple crystal wing Lion King said, with Xiao Han's strength, it is entirely possible to force the purple crystal wing Lion King to sign a master-servant contract, rather than a contract similar to cooperation. It can also achieve the goal. But this involves Xiao Han's principles of handling things. Perhaps due to the rapid growth of his strength, Xiao Han never worried about cultivating resources, and his martial arts and fighting skills were also fully utilized. Although there are hardships along the way, it is more about smooth sailing. Without experiencing too much social abuse, Xiao Han leans more towards his past life in his way of life. In general, we adhere to equal exchange and never rely on our cultivation to oppress others or bully the weak. Of course, except for those who encounter malicious provocations. That kind of person Xiao Han would let him know why the flowers are so red. This is simply a clear current in the fighting spirit continent of the jungle. It is precisely due to Xiao Han's style that he has always had a good reputation on the mainland. Most others are happy to get along with it. After I send you a message, the transaction will begin. Yes. After solving the issue of the Warcraft mountain range, Xiao Han prepared to return to his own power, the Langya Pavilion in Zhongzhou. Thinking of the figure waiting for him in Langya Pavilion, Xiao Han couldn't help but smile. Zhongzhou, Langya Pavilion As a power created by the former Sancho and Peak Fighting Lord, the Langya Pavilion has always been the preferred choice for the Sancho community to join the power. The Ice Master is powerful, but he never bullies the weak. Even strict requirements are imposed on the disciples under the sect. Therefore, Langya Pavilion has an excellent reputation in the territory of Zhongzhou. Meanwhile, compared to factional struggles and conflicts within many factions, the atmosphere of Langya Pavilion is relatively harmonious, although there is competition, it is mostly benign. As a result, it has attracted many strong individuals who hope to enjoy their later years. Although a hundred years ago, the disappearance of the Lord of Langya Pavilion, the Cold Ice Venerable, caused significant damage to his power. But with the efforts of the guests and disciples of Langya Pavilion, this foundation was also preserved. Recently, the people of Langya Pavilion have been very excited, nothing more, just because their pavilion owner, the Cold Ice Venerable, is about to return. Hurry up, work hard and tidy up a bit. A little over there, right, right. I'm telling you, Lord Gu is coming back soon. You need to prepare well for the welcome ceremony and not slack off. Did you hear that? One of the young disciples was directing a group of junior brothers and sisters to decorate their appearance and set up the venue. Yes. Years of oppression have been released during this period. The elders with gloomy faces in the past are now all laughing. And now many elders are eagerly anticipating, with a hint of anxiety in their anticipation. At the forefront is a beautiful woman wearing a rue skirt, with a simple and elegant temperament and a cheerful expression on her face. It is Yi Huang, the deputy head of Langya Pavilion, and the five-star Dozun. Vice Lord, are you here today? The person asking was Yi Jianxin, the elder of Langya Pavilion, the sworn brother of the Cold Ice Lord, the eight-star Dou Lord. Glancing at him, don't worry, that's all for today. Old Yi, have you asked more than ten times in the past half day? Are you very anxious? Upon hearing these words, Yi Jianxin said, How could you not be in a hurry? He has been lost for a hundred years. Don't worry, he said he was just trapped in a secret realm, isn't that very common? As she spoke, Yi Huang's face blushed slightly and she said mysteriously. And he said there's still a surprise waiting for us. Oh. This made Yi Jianxin look forward to it. Without him, Xiao Han never disappoints. Are you two going to be good? Yi Jianxin joked when he saw Yi Huang's happy expression on her face. As Xiao Han's brother, I am extremely anxious about the matter between Yi Huang and Xiao Han. His children are all fighting against the king, and his brothers are still single. 
how can he not be anxious? Especially the stuffy gourd of Xiao Han, who lives or dies without opening his mind. Yi Huang also had a deep affection for Xiao Han and hung him from a crooked neck tree. Even without any news, he defended Langya Pavilion for a hundred years on his behalf. As the only person who knows Xiao Han's secret, he also understands the concerns in Xiao Han's heart. But if this doesn't yield any results, Yi Jianxin may even disregard his brotherhood and directly draw his sword to attack someone. End of this chapter Chapter 4, Final Meeting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Final Meeting Faced with Yi Jianxin's teasing, Yi Huang not only did not directly take action as before, but also began to wriggle. There is still a hint of shyness on his face. Seeing this expression, Yi Jianxin still didn't understand that he really wanted to succeed this time. He, who was also happy for his friend, ignored it for a moment and loudly said, When will you two handle things? Originally, the two people communicated through voice communication, and the others knew nothing. But this roar instantly caught everyone's attention. Noticing everyone's gaze, the usually bustling and capable deputy cabinet head suddenly turned into a shy daughter in law. Seeing the appearance of the deputy cabinet leader, coupled with the words, handle affairs, shouted by the elder just now, how could others not understand what the situation was? Especially the founding elders of Langya Pavilion showed a knowing smile. Even though some later elders were unaware of the situation, under the gossip of others, all of them revealed their aunt's laughter. In the hundred years that Huang has been in charge of Langya Pavilion, they can all see the dedicated efforts of their deputy pavilion owners towards Langya Pavilion. It was under the leadership of Yi Huang that the Langya Pavilion did not undergo a drastic change after the disappearance of its owner. Even steadily moving forward, this startled countless people's eyes. Even the so-called Lord of the Four Directions Pavilion is not a match for this weak woman. Everyone admires this strong and skilled woman. With the passage of time, Yi Huang's position in the hearts of the disciples of Langya Pavilion has become no less than that of the pavilion master, Master Cold Ice. And for the passionate yet secretive affection between the two, everyone has always held high expectations. Now, upon hearing that their good fortune is about to come true, everyone has sent their sincere blessings. Congratulations to Vice Lord XN. This should have happened a long time ago, shouldn't it? This is a moment of double happiness. At this moment, some people were still coaxing, why don't we choose a good day, happy and festive? Seeing everyone's words getting more and more outrageous, Yi Huang suppressed her shyness and pretended to be angry, saying, all right, in public, what kind of behavior is it to be noisy? Are you going to make the lord of the pavilion laugh? Upon hearing these words, others became unperturbed. Jokes should be limited and measured, otherwise it will hurt feelings. Everyone from Langya Pavilion is very aware of this. Oh! What kind of joke are you looking at? At this moment, a man in white suddenly appeared. Seeing the figure that had been missing for a long time, everyone was filled with surprise and joy. Hello, Lord Gu. Congratulations to the return of the Lord of the Pavilion. I only heard a neat sound. Seeing the good spiritual temperament of everyone, as well as the many unfamiliar faces that have emerged. Xiao Han was also very happy in his heart. Without him, as the founder of Langya Pavilion, Langya Pavilion is like its own child. How could Xiao Han be unhappy to see his own child grow up independently? After the elders, Xiao Han saw the figure that haunted his soul. Although a hundred years have passed, time has not left any marks on her face, still so stunning. The former Xiao Han never faced up to this relationship, and it can even be said that he dared not face it. Just because of the pressure he carries and worries about the consequences. Until being trapped in a secret realm for a hundred years, the gentle and capable figure flashed before my eyes from time to time, recalling my previous adventure experiences. The desire to see again in my heart is beyond measure. Even as soon as they got out of trouble, they immediately contacted to report safety. Everything indicates that the woman whom he once regarded as his close friend has left an indelible mark in his heart. 
Feeling the scorching gaze from ahead, Yi Huang lowered her head with a scorching expression, her usual ease in handling affairs disappeared without a trace at this moment. Seeing the subtle atmosphere between the two, Yi Jianxin felt extremely relieved and made a gesture to signal the others to quietly leave. Leave only two people to experience this delayed moment. How are you doing, X2? I'm okay, X2. A eerie silence. The once commendable tacit understanding has now become the source of embarrassment for the two. In the end, Xiao Han spoke up first, you've worked hard these days, thinking that every time you lose it, it will be a hundred years. Thinking of how she, as a woman, had to lead the Langya Pavilion of Nuada during this period, and the various hardships she had suffered in the process. Xiao Han felt extremely guilty in his heart, I'm sorry. Upon hearing these words, Yi Huang immediately became unhappy and said, Are you still treating me as an outsider? Don't you want to take responsibility anymore? You heartless person. You've been delaying his good years. While scolding the heartless man in front of me, I burst into tears. That weak and helpless appearance caught Xiao Han off guard. This, that. Once the world was vast and invincible, the Ice Lord has now become a bewildered and foolish young man. Seeing Xiao Han like this, Yi Huang burst into tears and smiled, and the tears that were about to fall also disappeared. Child, do you have many question marks? The contrast between before and after instantly shrouded Xiao Han, a two-life bachelor approaching the age of 200. All right, I'm not blaming you, and then he started acting again. I'm just a deputy cabinet head, how dare I trouble the cabinet head? Upon hearing these words, Xiao Han's originally clumsy mouth suddenly opened and said, Who said that? We have equal status, and both the chief and deputy chief are the same. It's really not possible. In the future, I will be the deputy cabinet leader, and you will be the cabinet leader. I'm not doing it. You've been away for a hundred years, and all these years of working as the pavilion master almost exhausted me, said Yi Huang with a look of anger. Xiao Han, who failed to succeed in his scheme, could only smirk in a casual manner. For a moment, the scene fell silent again. Yi Huang, come back to the family with me in a while, said Xiao Han slowly, feeling the pressure in his heart for an unknown amount of time. Ah! Yi Huang's face turned red at a speed visible to the naked eye, and for a moment, steam seemed to be rising from above her head. You, you're too fast, right? Xiao Han felt a little down and thought he had been rejected. Oh, let's talk about it later, said Xiao Han with a disappointed expression on his face. Sigh. Who said I don't want to go? Go, wait for me to arrange the affairs in the cabinet, then go immediately. You don't have to go back, wait. Then it disappeared without a trace. Watching the figure disappear in an instant, Xiao Han hesitated to speak. Glancing aside, come out, how long have you been hiding? As the words fell, a figure carrying a sword appeared in front of Xiao Han. He <laughs> he. After punching Xiao Han, Yi Jianxin gave a slightly lewd smile and said, You two have made it, I'm worried about you both. He stretched lazily. Forget it. Let's not talk about this anymore, then Yi Jianxin immediately got to the point, his expression serious. Did you break through? Xiao Han nodded. Yi Jianxin twitched at the corner of his mouth and said, half saint or fighting saint. Dou Sheng is still the plain and heart-piercing truth. Gone. You found a treasure trove, haven't you? Yi Jianxin said, feeling completely sour. Almost so. I'm going to asterisk asterisk asterisk, Yi Jianxin couldn't bear it anymore and silently pulled out his own Qingfeng sword. Yi Huang said you had a surprise for us this time. Finally, before killing someone, Yi Jianxin thought of a crucial question. That's right, let's talk about it later. Xiao Han gave him a spoon in the back of his head. For the sake of surprise. Lao Zi. Hold on. End of this chapter. Chapter 5, Message Transmission. You are listening at novelfull.audio. 
Chapter 5 Message Transmission Is there any major event happening in Zhongzhou during the hundred years I have been trapped in? Yi Huang returned to normal and began to report on her work. Coincidentally, Xiao Han also wanted to understand the current affairs in Zhongzhou. Basically, as usual, the Soul Hall is still so arrogant, and the only major event is that the main medicine lord of the Star Meteor Pavilion, Medicine Dust, has disappeared. Oh. Are you missing? Xiao Han's heart moved. Tell me more, Xiao Han said calmly. She nodded and said, about a few decades ago, there was news from the Star Meteor Pavilion that the Medicine Lord had disappeared, and Han Feng, the Medicine Lord's disciple, said that the Medicine Lord had gone mad while refining ninth grade pills. Then, a hint of amusement appeared on Yi Huang's indifferent face, but no one believes it. Why, is there anything suspicious? Xiao Han raised his eyes. Of course, you don't have to think about it, the power of the Medicine Lord. Yi Huang also quite agrees with the title of the first alchemist in the Medicine Dust Continent. In her heart, the Medicine Lord cannot have any problems with alchemy. Moreover, you don't know, Han Feng, that kid, since the Medicine Lord had an accident, he has been running to the Black Horn Domain and is really unwilling to come to Zhongzhou, Yi Huang gossiped. Isn't this place without three hundred tails of silver? Xiao Han said jokingly. Isn't that right? Feng Zuan will personally go find him, he said with a solemn expression. But if it weren't for Han Feng being a disciple personally passed down by the medicine master, and he seemed to be concerned about something, Han Feng would have been ruined long ago. Is it the soul hall? Shouldn't it be? After all, with their friendship, apart from the soul hall, there is no one who can stop him. Yi Huang agreed. Moreover, during the period before Yao Chen's disappearance, he joined forces with various forces such as Dan Ta to constantly oppose the Soul Hall. He caused a lot of trouble for the Soul Hall, and at that time, the Soul Hall hated him to the bone. Speaking of this, Yi Huang also showed a hint of relief in her encounter with the Soul Palace. Did you find out where the Medicine Lord went? Although Xiao Han knew the final destination of Yao Chen, he was completely unaware of the twists and turns in between and was still very curious. He placed his hope on the intelligence capabilities of Langya Pavilion. Since the establishment of Langya Pavilion, Xiao Han has personally established a powerful intelligence system, making Langya Pavilion's intelligence capabilities far superior to other sects. Next only to the Soul Hall, towering creatures like the Danta have even one slightly outside of Zhongzhou. Thanks to the ability of Langya Pavilion, intelligence in the Northwest Continent has been blocked, and the Soul Palace cannot penetrate until he is trapped. How could it be found? Xiao Han gave a white glance and Yi Huang complained. After the disappearance of the Medicine Lord, the Soul Palace also spent a lot of effort to find him, but still hasn't found him, said Yi Huang, holding the table and pressing against Xiao Han, with a playful expression on her face. Or does our Lord believe that our Langya Pavilion is already comparable to the Soul Palace? Feeling the perfect figure in front of him, Xiao Han swallowed and leaned back slightly. Turning his head to one side, he whispered, I understand. Isn't this confidence in you? Then, as if granted amnesty, he said to Yi Huang, By the way, I have brought back a lot of good things this time. You can bring old Yi and some of the elders and disciples you have chosen over and give them some benefits. Oh. Yi Huang squinted her eyes and spoke in a bad tone, what about mine? Xiao Han, who was eager to survive, quickly stood up and comforted, don't worry, I'll remember it for you. I guarantee you'll be satisfied. Okay, wait, he smiled as his scheme succeeded. Then, under the painful gaze of Xiao Han, he smiled and took out a pile of information, this is the affairs of Langya Pavilion over the past century. Please take a look, and this is some basic information for you to keep track of. Goodbye. He waved his hand and walked briskly out. During the exchange between Xiao Han and Yi Huang, the news of the return of the Cold Ice Lord to Langya Pavilion swept through Zhongzhou like a typhoon passing through. The Master of Cold Ice has returned, 
hurry up and prepare your gifts. I'm going to visit Langya Pavilion, said the leader of a certain faction. Damn it, Su Lin, the pseudonym of Xiao Han walking on the mainland, whose real identity is only known to Yi Huang and Yi Jianxin, how did that calamity come back? With a crackling sound, a furious shout came from the room of the Heavenly Underworld sect leader. As one of the few forces in Zhongzhou that had a grudge against Xiao Han, Tianming sect and Langya pavilion have suffered significant losses in their confrontation. Has the Ice Lord returned? A terrifying voice rang out in the dim hall, increase your strength to investigate. Simple news caused severe turbulence. The return of the cold ice venerable. The wind venerable, who was in charge of the star meteor pavilion in this era, looked melancholic. Where have you, Yao Chen, been from your hometown? No wonder the wind lord is like this. They both belong to the forces of the southern region of Zhongzhou. At the beginning of their establishment, Langya Pavilion had a conflict of interest with the Hegemon Meteorite Pavilion in this area. At first, due to the early establishment of the Star Meteor Pavilion and the fact that Yao Chen, the peak fighting master and the first alchemist in the mainland, was stronger than the Langya Pavilion, especially after the disappearance of the Cold Ice Venerable. As a result, the good times did not last long. Afterwards, Yao Chen also disappeared. This is great, both cabinet leaders are missing together. If it weren't for the inconsistent disappearance times, there would have been rumors in Zhongzhou that two cabinet lords fought fiercely to claim the position of the southern domain hegemon in Zhongzhou and ultimately died together. However, due to the presence of Yi Huang and Yi Jianxin in Langya Pavilion, its strength suddenly surpassed that of the Star Meteorist Pavilion, which was almost supported by medicine dust. Now, only the Wind Lord has worked hard to support it. During that period, the other three pavilions in the Sifang Pavilion even wanted to unite with the Langya Pavilion to kick the Star Meteor Pavilion out of the Sifang Pavilion's position and let the Langya Pavilion take over. But I don't know if it's luck or misfortune, and the Langya Pavilion doesn't want it. Although this conforms to the style of Langya Pavilion not taking advantage of others, it is also somewhat disappointing. I want to defend the position for my old friend, but those young people are not interested. What a terrifying young person! Xiao Han, who were both Dozun and strong, but were younger and stronger, had a much greater potential than the Star Meteor Pavilion. Even the Wind Lord has to admit this. Now the Master of Cold Ice has returned to Langya Pavilion. In the future, in the southern region of Zhongzhou, Xingxia Pavilion may no longer be able to compete with Langya Pavilion. Even if Yao Qin comes back, this cannot be changed. It seems that those young people can see clearly. Feng Zun sighed. At the beginning of its establishment, Langya Pavilion has always been very low-key. Although its strength has far surpassed that of the so-called Sifang Pavilion, it has never done anything to seize power or territory. From elders to disciples, they never actively provoke others. Elders can retire, and disciples can practice with peace of mind. I don't know why, but each one's strength is progressing rapidly. In the hundred years since the disappearance of the Cold Ice Venerable, although the territory of Langya Pavilion has decreased a bit, it was all abandoned by oneself. The overall strength within the cabinet is on the rise, with no less than ten newly appointed dozens. Gone. The Wind Lord felt a wave of envy, jealousy, and hatred in his heart. However, after that, there was a burst of happiness. Fortunately, due to various reasons, there have been very few conflicts between the Star Meteor Pavilion and the Langya Pavilion. Both sides have never experienced any bloody incidents of a heinous nature. Plus, going door to door and giving gifts during holidays and festivals, although the relationship may not be good, it is not bad either. This is the relationship between familiar strangers. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Benefits Provided by the Master of the Pavilion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Benefits Provided by the Master of the Pavilion On the other hand, when receiving news from the deputy cabinet head that their own cabinet was mainly providing welfare to everyone, many old members who knew Xiao Han's habits were extremely excited. 
The new members may not know what benefits it is, but they all have expectations. After all, the Lord of the Pavilion cannot lower the level of his actions. Hurry up and leave, Lord Gu will provide benefits. This is a great thing. A person is there urging the person in front of them. At this point, many people were puzzled. Brother, you shouldn't be so excited, right? What do you know? The person who was called, brother, looked at the person with disdain, as if mocking his intelligence. Do you know the nickname of our cabinet leader? What nickname is it? Do you know the injustice of Zhongzhou, he said, disliking the ignorance on the other side. The lord of the pavilion has always been generous in his actions, never bargaining when buying things, and never being lenient in distributing benefits. Then, reminiscing about the happy times before, after the disappearance of the cabinet owner, the revenue of many well-known shops in Zhongzhou decreased by more than 10%. And first come, first served, all the good things are ahead, he glanced at the person. Now you know why you're going so fast, right? Hey! Where's the person? He looked around and didn't notice the figure he had just seen. He suddenly became angry. Don't be a good person. Within less than a quarter of an hour after the message was sent, everyone except for those in seclusion was in place. More punctual and prompt than emergency gatherings. Great, let's set the next gathering time at 15 minutes. Looking at the neat queue in front of her, Yi Huang silently made a note in her heart. Cough cough. Seeing that the people were almost there, Xiao Han coughed a few times to signal everyone to keep quiet, and then began to get to the main topic. The purpose of coming to you this time is also clear. I won't say much. As the cabinet owner, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude and commendation for your contributions to the cabinet over the years. After a brief pause, next, take the reward. Xiao Han waved his hand, and in front of everyone's expectant gaze, rare martial arts, combat skills, elixirs, medicinal herbs, and weapons from the past all appeared like stalls in a vegetable market. Many people exclaim in their hearts, indeed, the lord of the pavilion never disappoints us. Under a gust of wind and residual clouds, in less than a pillar of incense, all rewards have been divided up. Seeing the satisfied smiles of the crowd, Xiao Han said, all right, this is the first good thing, and next is the second one. Oh. Is there another good thing? After the previous preparation, the confidence of others in the Lord of the Pavilion skyrocketed. Hearing Xiao Han continue, you all know that I have found a secret realm. No one was surprised by this matter, as everyone already knew it. Then Xiao Han placed another heavyweight bomb. This secret realm is rich in spiritual energy, and practicing inside can increase the cultivation speed by more than three times. Upon hearing this, everyone suddenly became calm again. What should they do if they want to become stronger? Besides martial arts, combat skills, and various auxiliary items, isn't it just about cultivation? Such a secret realm is simply a blessing for everyone. This secret realm has been brought back by me using a special method, and everyone can earn cultivation time through their own contribution. I will then have the vice-chancellor develop a detailed charter for this. All right, that's all for today. Let's go. After the crowd left, only Yi Huang and Yi Jianxin remained in place in the room. Taking a deep breath, Xiao Han Zhan trembled and said to Yi Huang, who was emitting a faint murderous aura at this moment. Huang Er, I'll trouble you now, Yi Jianxin said, looking at Xiao Han in surprise. I didn't expect you to have a day of enlightenment, just like a goosebump. At this moment, the black aura on Yi Huang's body immediately dissipated, and she responded gently, okay. Next, it's my true gain this time, the two of them were not surprised to hear this. As close friends who have supported and supported Xiao Han all the way to the present day, they are well aware of Xiao Han's personality, never losing out. Although Xiao Han has always been nicknamed the unjust leader of Zhongzhou, in the outside world, it does not mean that he is really foolish. Every time he paid a price that was worth it, 
it was also through this indecent title that Xiao Han was able to prioritize obtaining many good things. For Xiao Han, you may not necessarily lose, but he can definitely make a profit. Although Xiao Han provides generous benefits every time, it also means that he has more resources. With Xiao Han's bold move, the two of them could already think of his heavy harvest. In fact, this secret place was just a chance for me to enter, and later I found that it was a secret place inherited by a herbalist. Xiao Han never let people down, for one thing, it was Rocket. The inheritance of the secret realm of the alchemist is so precious, especially considering Xiao Han's earnings this time, the level of the alchemist who left the secret realm is definitely not low. Along with the inheritance of alchemists are often a large number of rare elixirs, alchemy experience, and medicinal herbs. At this point, Yi Huang, as an alchemist, became sour. Surprisingly, this guy who is not an alchemist has obtained the inheritance of an alchemist. But it quickly changed, after all, based on her understanding of Xiao Han, this inheritance quickly belonged to her. Then, as if thinking of something, Yi Huang asked with some trepidation, there must be relevant assessments for the inheritance of alchemists. How did you pass? Xiao Han said helplessly, are you still talking about it? It was this assessment that trapped me for a hundred years. What kind of assessment? Yi Jianxin asked a question. Soul Power, X2. I noticed Xiao Han's surprised gaze and felt a bit proud. Yi Huang confidently analyzed, the only assessment related to alchemists that Xiao Han, who is not even an alchemist, can pass is soul power. Then, some drifting Yi Huang asked, what a strong level of soul power is it? The heavenly realm is greatly perfected. Petrochemical state. Yi Huang said somewhat aggrieved, I, the eighth grade alchemist, am only in the middle stage of the spiritual realm now. Then, his whole body was not doing well again. How did you cultivate such a high soul level? I remember that soul has always been your weakness. Later on, there was even a hint of crying in the tone. At this moment, Xiao Han felt a bit embarrassed and said, there are many medicinal herbs in the secret realm that can increase soul power. Not only that, the soul level of the heavenly realm is absolutely impossible to be obtained by taking medicine. Yi Huang retorted again. So I can only practice. By improving my cultivation and nurturing my soul realm, I finally spent a hundred years meeting the assessment requirements. Xiao Han said helplessly. How high are you now? Yi Huang's heart flashed with a hint of bad premonition. Xiao Han's cultivation talent was already astonishing, reaching the peak of Dozuan at the age of less than forty. In addition, he was originally the pinnacle of Dozuan's cultivation, with at least three times the cultivation speed within the secret realm for a hundred years, as well as possible medicinal herbs and pills that are conducive to growth in cultivation. Even if he cannot eat too much, this is also an element of growth. There is also the difficulty of using cultivation to nourish the soul and achieve great perfection in the heavenly realm. Don't think that achieving a perfect heavenly realm is easy. For non-alchemists, this realm often means extremely high cultivation. Unless there is a specialized technique to elevate the soul realm. Even an average 8th grade alchemist doesn't have such a high level. Sorry, there have been some changes to the timeline before the start of the battle. We apologize for the lack of experience. End of this chapter. Chapter 7, Inheritance of Medicine Refiners you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Inheritance of Medicine Refiners Many 8th grade alchemists only have spiritual realm souls, and cannot even touch the edges of heavenly realm souls. In Yi Huang's understanding, there are almost no strong beings with a fully rounded soul in the heavenly realm. Even the first great master of refining medicine in the mainland, Medicine Venerable, may not necessarily possess such powerful soul power. You should know that the title of medicine master is not just a boast. Strictly speaking, he is already a great master of ninth grade medicine refining, although his success rate is not high. 
It should only be possible for some old monster in Danta and the top powerhouses of those ancient races that are incredibly strong. Even the so-called three giants of Danta do not have such a high spiritual realm, they are just ordinary heavenly realms. And this is also the reason why she wants to cry. A guy who has been practicing for less than 150 years and is not yet an alchemist, his soul has unexpectedly reached the great perfection of the heavenly realm. Life is always so caught off guard. At the same time, she was even more curious about Xiao Han's cultivation at the moment, but also a bit afraid. As expected, Xiao Han gave a heart-wrenching answer. Let's fight Saint in the early stage of the Six Stars. Oh, it should be the middle stage in a while. Tired, destroy it. Yi Huang and Yi Jianxin suddenly became Buddhist. Is this the realm of immortality that they can know? The master of the soul hall doesn't even have such a good cultivation. If it weren't for the fact that the soul clan is behind the soul hall, with your cultivation, you could have completely pushed the soul hall flat. Originally, everyone was just a salted fish of Dozun, but now you have become a big shot of the mid-level Dosheng. After a long silence, Yi Huang spoke up and said, Hey, would you not want me anymore? Why don't you? If it weren't for helping manage Langya Pavilion, you and Lao Yi would be at least the peak Dozuan or even a semi-saint now. Xiao Han said inexplicably. All of this is ultimately my fault. Don't worry, I told you, I will definitely give you a surprise. Did you forget? Then he laughed heartily. Xiao Han's words were not a consolation, just as Yi Huang and the two of them understood each other, Xiao Han also understood them. Although Yi Huang and Yi Jianxin's talents may not be comparable to their own, they still belong to beings with far greater talents than ordinary people. Before Xiao Han was trapped, both of them were around the two or three star Dozuan. And they are all very young, with the same potential. Yi Huang is even a seventh grade high level alchemist, and now she has broken through to the eighth grade. But now, over a hundred years, I have only improved my cultivation by a few stars, which is nothing more than being dragged down by the complex affairs of the sect. Therefore, Xiao Han had to find a way to improve the two of them. In the future, with the development of the Soul Palace plan, if the two of them have insufficient cultivation, it will be difficult for Xiao Han to ensure their safety. Fortunately, there are still at least twenty years left, and with the help of the Secret Realm, coupled with my own gains, it is enough to help the two of them ascend to the rank of Dosheng. What surprise! Yi Jianxin was eager to try. It's impossible to say that you're not in a hurry when you see Xiao Han's cultivation and he can't even see the taillights. Now that I can be pleasantly surprised by Xiao Han, at least it's a chance to become a saint. Xiao Han smiled slightly and first took out a light ball, handing it to Yi Huang. Huang er, this secret realm was left by a half-step ninth-grade gold pill alchemist with the strength of a high-level fighting saint. Not only does it have his inheritance of alchemy, but also his experience of breakthrough cultivation, and I have added mine. With this, combined with the help of resources in the secret realm, it should be able to help you walk a long way in the path of alchemists and cultivation. Feeling the additional inheritance information in her mind, Yi Huang was pleasantly surprised with a confident smile. Within fifteen years, the peak of the eighth grade can be reached, and the ninth grade is expected. The Doshing is stable. That's good, then you can start closing down in the secret realm and delegate the affairs of the sect to others, Xiao Han felt relieved. And you, Xiao Han couldn't help but look at his own brother's cheap smiling face. Half Saint and Do Saint's breakthrough experience, the low level heavenly skill, Fanghua Sword Classic, and supporting combat techniques, as well as these pills, quickly take them to breakthrough. I asterisk 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 asterisk, are alchemists so rich? Even the pill is fine, after all, this is what alchemists don't lack the most. But the heavenly level technique even has supporting combat skills, which are probably only possessed by ancient races. Even Yi Jianxin's current cultivation is only a high-level earth-level skill, and his fighting skills do not have a heavenly level. With eyes shining brightly, he looked at the light ball in front of him, 
like a hungry and thirsty pervert who saw a naked and unparalleled beauty with no fighting ability. Thank you. He just put away his expression and solemnly thanked Xiao Han. Just as Yi Jianxin was about to leave, Yi Huang stopped him and said, Wait. What's wrong? Xiao Han and the others looked at her in confusion. A hint of helplessness flashed in his eyes as he looked at Xiao Han and said, Aren't you a guy who hasn't even seen these legacies? Your mind is full of treasures. Xiao Han awkwardly smiled and said, Isn't it you? Is there any problem? Yi Huang waved her hand and said, Forget it, I know you can't rely on it. Then he looked at Xiao Han seriously and said, Did you get a few Bodhi seeds in the secret realm? Give them to me. Oh, good, Xiao Han immediately took out the Bodhi and handed it to Yi Huang. Is there any problem? Xiao Han asked in confusion. No problem, fortunately these three Bodhi seeds are still here. If we lose them, I won't be finished with you, sighed helplessly. Do you know how important this bodhisattva is? I know, isn't it possible to refine bodhi pills? I originally wanted to ask the medicine master or the elder of the danta to help me refine them. Since the medicine lord has disappeared, we can only find the old monsters like Zayadanta. That's why I said you didn't even read the inheritance content. Yi Huang was already helpless, how could she take a liking to such a silly guy? Is there a Bodhi Dan Dan formula in the inheritance? Xiao Han was pleased for a moment. Without waiting for Xiao Han to be happy, he was immediately stepped on. I asked if you could listen to me finish speaking, and then glanced at Yi Jianxin, who was gloating. And you? Yes. Please follow the instructions of Sister Huang's head, said Xiao Han and Yi Jianxin in a queue. You should be aware that a normal Bodhi pill can only increase the probability of successfully advancing to the semi-saint by 20%. Yes. But this senior alchemist is indeed not simple. He improved the prescription of Bodhi pill and created a new type of pill again. As she spoke, Yi Huang's heart developed an admiration for the senior alchemist. In the inheritance, Yi Huang saw the glorious life of this senior, including his regrettable ending. The alchemist who left the secret realm, although a half-step ninth-grade gold pill alchemist, is actually able to refine the ninth-grade gold pill. However, due to his cultivation relying solely on the accumulation of elixirs, his combat power is not strong and he is unable to solve the nine profound golden thunder. Not only was it severely damaged, but the golden elixir was also destroyed at that moment. In the end, we can only regretfully leave the inheritance and wait for the outstanding descendants of alchemists. Unexpectedly, I encountered the bug of Xiao Han. Perhaps the senior believed that apart from a few top experts in this world, the only one who could achieve the perfect soul in the heavenly realm should be the alchemist. But top-notch experts simply cannot enter, and only alchemists can rapidly enhance soul power. I never expected to meet Xiao Han, a cultivation genius. The soul strength that was enhanced by taking medicine and cultivating fighting spirit has met the assessment requirements. Thinking of this, although I am grateful for the inheritance that Xiao Han has given me, I am still very angry. Single female lead, after all, the author's level is not enough to grasp emotional scenes. End of this chapter. Chapter 8, Amazing Senior. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Amazing Senior In an instant, Yi Huang's face darkened, causing the two of them, Xiao Han, who were unaware of the situation, to feel anxious and fearful. Just now they saw Yi Huang talking and stopped, with a strange expression on her face. This almost made Xiao Han worried that he might have been taken away by that alchemist. Finally, Yi Huang regained her senses and said, as I mentioned earlier, that senior created a pill. But Yi Huang, although creating pills is difficult, it shouldn't be a big deal for that master, right? Xiao Han questioned. Any alchemist who reaches the ninth grade has basically reached the pinnacle of alchemy, and their understanding of medicinal materials has reached a state of transformation. Creating new pills based on pharmacology is not a difficult problem. Moreover, 
He is a great master of refining half a step and nine great golden pills. Listen to me finish. Unable to bear it any more, Yi Huang was emitting a blazing flame all over her body, which was the same as the flame of the furious dragon that Xiao Han had once given her. Feeling the commotion, many people thought something was wrong and wanted to come and see, but some elderly people stopped them. Don't worry, it's just that the Lord has offended the Deputy Lord again. Just familiarize yourself with it. On the other side, Xiao Han, who was covered in a big bag and covered in darkness, stood straight. Although these injuries were easy to recover with his cultivation, he did not do so. Under normal circumstances, this is indeed the case, Yi Huang continued to explain. But this type of pill is a special pill that needs to be used in conjunction with the improved Bodhi pill. This pill is called Nailing Dan, and its function is to significantly increase the speed of qi accumulation. You should be aware that before becoming a semi-saint, there is a step of nine transformations to become a saint, and at this step, unlimited use of naring pills can be used to accelerate this step. Hiss. Xiao Han and his companions took a deep breath, but from their efficacy, it can be seen that this so-called spirit-absorbing pill is a pill used to improve cultivation. The use of this type of pill has always been limited, such as the low-level doling pill, Huangji pill, etc., which can only be taken once. But this nearing pill can be used indefinitely, which means that one can stack their cultivation to the peak of the nine transformations by throwing money, greatly reducing the time required. Even if the nailing pill is promoted, the disciples' cultivation will be gradually increasing. Just as they were having a beautiful dream, Iwan woke them up in an instant. What are you daydreaming about? Seeing the two of them like that, Iwan knew they were thinking of something beautiful. The nearing pill can only be used in the process of the nine turn road, and it will make your fighting spirit extremely mixed and floating, Yi Huang showed a gloomy expression. The two of them jumped, but soon Yi Jianxin reacted and said, But wouldn't you give such a high rating like that? Not bad, she agreed with a glance at Yi Jianxin. Of course, it's not just that, that's why I said this is a pill that is paired with an improved Bodhi pill. Although taking the nailing pill can make one's fighting spirit weak and complicated, taking the improved Bodhi pill can completely solve these problems. The side effect is that breaking through the semi-saint will deplete the internal fighting energy as if it had just experienced a major battle, but this can be completely ignored. What is even more precious is that the probability of this method breaking through successfully will be infinitely close to 10%. It can take up to one year to complete the entire process from the peak dozuan to the semi-saint. After speaking, Yi Huang once again admired the senior in her heart. Why is the success rate of this breakthrough method so high? Xiao Han acted as the perfect comedian. You should be aware that under normal circumstances, the deeper you accumulate on the path of the nine transformations, the greater the probability of successfully breaking through the half-saint. In fact, these are a matter of quality and quantity. The better the quality, the greater the quantity, and the higher the probability of success. Although nailing Dan can reduce the quality of fighting spirit, on the other hand, it can unlimited increase the amount of fighting spirit. The shortcomings in quality are compensated for through quantity, and with the special function of the improved version of Bodhi Pill, it is easy to break through the semi-saint. Then Yi Huang looked at Xiao Han with a resentful expression, saying, That's why I said if you lose the Bodhisattva, I won't end up with you. If that senior had not been fortunate enough to receive the gift of the ancient Bodhi tree, how could there have been any extra Bodhi seeds to test the elixir? This is still the only three left. Nowadays, the Bodhisattva from the outside world has disappeared. If it's gone, this Naren pill and the improved version of Bodhi pill will be discarded. Speaking with a fierce expression. Don't you know that? Xiao Han, who knew he was guilty, could only listen. What is the level of the Naren pill? Are the materials difficult to find? Is it expensive? Yi Jianxin, who instinctively appeared as the elder, began to ask. If the cost is too high, he may choose to spend more time breaking through on his own. After all, although it is a senior level, 
it cannot occupy too many resources. Upon hearing this, Yi Huang replied, this is also where I admire that senior. Naring pill is just the most ordinary 8th grade pill. Even now, I can prepare enough naring pills for two people in half a year, let alone with the improvement of my strength, this time can continue to be shortened. And the cost is only equivalent to the 7th grade peak pill. After the improvement, the cost of Bodhi pill has also been significantly reduced. Except for Bodhi seed and a few other medicinal herbs, most of them have lower prices, but the grade remains the same. That senior is really a role model for us. Xiao Han was deeply moved by the thought of this senior putting in a lot of effort to save money for the younger generation. I have more surprises to say. What else? Please don't stop, more is better. That senior is not good at cultivation, but he can cultivate to a higher level of dosheng, not only because he has heavenly level martial arts. Moreover, it is because he possesses pills and prescriptions that enhance his strength at all levels, from Do Ren to Do Sheng. These parts were obtained by him, as well as developed by him himself. And in the later stages of his life, he integrated and improved this part of the elixir. Although the level cost before Emperor Do was too high and the cost effectiveness was too low. But it can be completely applicable to certain special groups. After that, there were also many types of pills used to improve cultivation, and the side effects were minimal. Speaking of which, Yi Huang furrowed her cute brow and said, but the only downside is that it requires using a special fire to purify Duki after improving cultivation, which is not universal. Of course, it may also be because I thought too well. Then, with a smile, however, the strongest achievement of that senior is probably the ninth grade treasure pill he created, the Entering Holy Pill. Entering the Holy Dan. Transcendent and Sanctified. Could it be? Upon hearing this name, Xiao Han and others were stunned. Since ancient times, countless talented cultivators have fallen before the threshold of Saint Do. Unexpectedly, someone could develop a pill that could break through the Holy Spirit of Do. Entering the Holy Pill, as the name suggests, is a pill used to help semi-saints break through to Doshan. Of course, it is only used at the peak of semi-saints and has a success rate of only 30%. Speaking of which, the Nailing Pill, the improved version of Bodhi Pill, and the Ascension Pill are simply sending the peak Dozuan to Doshan. And this is also where I dare say I can break through the faith of Doshan within 15 years. Then, Huang's face suddenly became solemn. Although this holy pill has powerful effects, it has significant limitations, at least for Lao Yi. There may be some minor flaws in the settings, so don't spray if you don't like it. End of this chapter. Chapter 9, Identity of Senior Medicine Refiners You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Identity of Senior Medicine Refiners What does this mean? Before the two of them could ask a question, Yi Huang was the first to give the answer. Although the Holy Pill can be used to break through the Holy Spirit, it can only be used to break through the Holy Spirit and cannot be used continuously to break through the subsequent realm. At that time, this senior was forced to elevate his cultivation to a higher level of Dou Sheng because he took a large amount of the Holy Pill. Causing the body's fighting spirit to float, even if one has fallen heart disease, it cannot purify their fighting spirit. The combat power is not even as strong as ordinary low-level Doshan. And Lao Yi, you can completely break through to higher levels by yourself. That's why I said this pill has limitations for you. However, Xiao Han seemed to have noticed a blind spot at this moment. What do you mean is that entering the holy pill can also help people improve their level, and they can also take it freely, resulting in low combat effectiveness. Overall, it's like this, Yi Huang affirmed. Can we use it for other things, said Xiao Han, touching his chin. What does it mean? Yi Huang and Yi Jianxin were both curious. Yi Jianxin originally thought that being able to help break through the Doshin was already enough to go against the heavens, but he didn't expect it to have other uses. Have you forgotten that not everyone has the same talent as us? Even if it's any worse, it's still a battle saint. 
We can't use it, can't our family and friends still use it? Xiao Han grinned. Indeed, although Yi Huang and Yi Jianxin are both orphans, they are also some of their friends. Entering the Holy Pill can completely help them improve their realm. After all, even if you can't fight, for every one star increase in the lifespan of Do Xing Chang, there will be a corresponding increase, which is to release news. To be honest, some people are eager to take it. Moreover, it's just low combat effectiveness, not lack of combat effectiveness. Even the worst Do Sheng is much stronger than the half saint. Playing with all your fighting spirit to death. But not now, at most it can only be used secretly, Xiao Han immediately poured a bucket of cold water. We can't hold on at all. In the land of Zhongzhou, there are crouching tigers and hidden dragons. Compared to Doshen, there are not many semi-saints, but there are also some. Not to mention the existence of those terrifying creatures from ancient races. Although the cost of the ninth grade elixir is enormous, compared to having an additional Doshen powerhouse, this cost is completely acceptable. Once the existence of the Holy Dan, which can mass-produce low-level Doshen, is exposed. It is impossible for the Langya Pavilion, which now has only one six-star fighting saint, to withstand threats from all directions. Those ancient races, in order to control this resource, would definitely bring down their face and forcibly seize it. You're right, and it's still a long time before you reach the ninth grade realm, Yi Huang shook her head and shook off the thoughts in her mind. Do these pills have finished products? Suddenly, Yi Jianxin remembered something. Noticing the gaze of his old friend, Xiao Han silently turned to his wife for help. The sincere gaze, moved, disgusted, Yi Huang, of course there is, if it hasn't been used up, and he glanced at Xiao Han. No, absolutely no. In order to clear the suspicion, Xiao Han used all his tricks. At the same time, Xiao Han added in his heart, fortunately I didn't know at that time. That way, there are probably still two Bodhi pills left, more than ten bottles of nailing pills, and one bottle of the holy pill. Is there so much? A bottle of pills is about ten. After all, the price of nailing pill is low and it is normal to have a large quantity, but they did not expect that there were still ten precious ninth grade pills left, such as the holy pill. Indeed, and based on the current situation analysis, this secret realm has existed for a long time. I never expected that the medicinal properties would remain so intact after such a long time has passed. In addition, with the inheritance of those elixirs, our strength can completely explode in a short period of time. Although most pills require abnormal fire to eliminate side effects, there are still a few pills that can be utilized. But do you know the identity of this senior alchemist, Yi Huang? With such a powerful talent and ability, shouldn't you be unknown on the mainland? Xiao Han asked in confusion. This is not a false statement, not to mention that the level of this senior alchemist is already half a step 9 level golden pill. Just because he was able to improve the Bodhi pill and study the entry and exit holy pills was enough to make him famous on the mainland. After all, the current Bodhi pill can only increase the probability of breaking through the semi-holy by 20%, but it has increased this probability to an infinite close to 10%, and has reduced the difficulty and cost of refining Bodhi pills. Not to mention the Holy Pill, the pill that helps people break through the Holy Spirit is unprecedented. And it's only at the level of Bao Dan. Even the original Bodhi pill is an 8th grade pill that can attract 8 or even 9 colored thunder, but it is only a treasure pill separated by a semi-holy and holy realm. It can be said that the requirements are very low. I don't know either. It's strange, there's still a alchemist who doesn't want to leave his name behind. All right, don't think about it anymore. Old Yi, hurry up and break through. No problem. Yi Jianxin assured with a chest pat. Then, just as the two were about to leave, Xiao Han hesitated to speak. Um. Huang Er, don't shut up these days. I'll take you home first. Got it. Yi Huang's figure suddenly stiffened as she left, pretending to be calm and agreeing. 
but from her gradually accelerating footsteps, it can be seen that this is completely different. Three days later, somewhere in the Gama Empire on the northwest continent. Over the boundless desert, space suddenly fluctuates, forming a black hole, from which two figures, a man and a woman, emerge. Is this the Gamma Empire? It's a bit desolate. The woman was none other than Ihuang. Seeing the scorching desert, she frowned and immediately pulled down her face. I thought there was something fun to say. This should be within the range of the Tagore Desert, Xiao Han glanced down and saw no one. He thought he could meet the host, the Snake Man tribe. He is somewhat curious about his future daughter-in-law, Xiao Yan, who is a descendant of his family. It's funny to say that after wandering the mainland for so many years, he has even been to the beast domain and has never visited this neighbor's place. All right, let's go and let you enjoy the treatment of your ancestors, Xiao Han joked. Nonsense, I'm not that old. Upon hearing this, Yi Huang suddenly became unhappy. Although according to Xiao Han's generation, she can indeed be considered an ancestor-level figure, as a still beautiful woman, this clearly violates her taboo in her heart. Let's go. At this moment, the Xiao family fully understood what it means to leave Ti Kul. When they accidentally leaked the news of the death of clan leader Xiao Lin according to the plan, the enemy needless to say, it was sharpening their knives and rushing towards the fat sheep. As for allies, it is best to remain neutral, and even some white-eyed wolves, who have been taken care of by the Xiao family are trying to sneak a share of the pie. The Nalan family, who used to have an engagement with their own family, originally had a staunch ally in their hearts, but now they are also closing their doors and showing a whatever-you-want-I-won't-participate attitude. Now the Xiao family has come to recognize certain facts and people. Maybe it's pretty good too. The current head of the Xiao family, Xiao Zhan, thought of it. When there was no one around, Xiao Zhan took out the chieftain's token, the Tuasha Ancient Emperor Jade. Stroking the ordinary jade pendant in his hand, Xiao Zhan suddenly felt a sense of grandeur. Look, Tuasha Ancient Emperor Jade. Apart from those ancient races, only my Xiao family has them in this world. The Xiao family equals Tuasha Ancient Emperor Jade equals ancient race, so the Xiao family equals ancient race. Well, there's no problem. But soon Xiao Zhan gave up this lustful idea, and he still had a clear idea of his current level. Although the Xiao family had a wealthy family, now to put it bluntly, they are a local wealthy man from the countryside. If it weren't for the appearance of Uncle Xiao Han, our family would still be restless and troubled by the big trouble of sesame in mung beans. How is it now? Our enemy is an ancient race, a group of flies who are not even King Do, playing along. Thinking of the panic in my heart when I learned that the clan leader's token was the Tuasha Ancient Emperor Jade, it was more valuable than my own life. At first, I wanted to give this jade to my uncle for safekeeping, but it was refused. He was worried and worried, but it was only after being persuaded by his uncle and elderly family that he finally calmed down. Thinking about his uncle's aura, isn't it just the Tuasha Ancient Emperor Jade? In the future, our Xiao family will have a Dou Emperor. It's just a fragment now. If we don't gather it all, we can knock a walnut, and it's useless. Looking back to this day, I feel extremely uplifted. Although he does not believe that his descendants can become duty unless there is a genetic mutation. End of this chapter. Chapter 10, Return to the Xiao Family. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Return to the Xiao Family Although he didn't know that just a few decades later, his third son would be so outstanding. Not only did it leave behind the famous saying, 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, do not deceive young people into poverty. When he was threatened by the sole heavenly emperor on the Duki continent and trembled, he emerged from the air. Seal the blood emperor with the body of Emperor Yen. Achieved dual achievements of breaking through the Dou Emperor and defeating the Dou Emperor. It can only be said that travelers still have privileges. First came the genius Xiao Han, and then came the deceitful Xiao Yan. 
The ancestral tomb of the Xiao family is almost on fire. At this moment, Xiao Xian, who was waiting for the excellent younger generation in the heavenly tomb, sneezed and seemed to feel something. Just as Xiao Zhan was in a state of intense psychological activity, the appearance of two figures immediately diverted his attention. Xiao Zhan took a step forward and said, Uncle. Looking at Huang again, I didn't know how to address her. Although I had some guesses, it would be embarrassing if I said something wrong. It would be difficult to deal with someone who gets into a bad relationship because of this. Seeing Xiao Zhan's entanglement, Xiao Han took the initiative to explain, This is my wife. Upon hearing this intimate title, Yi Huang blushed again and was at a loss. After receiving a positive response, Xiao Zhan quickly bowed and said, Hello uncle. Yi Huang. The child is quite good, just has a mouth. Pup, Xiao Han covered his mouth. Seeing the melancholic gaze, Xiao Han said, I'm not laughing, poop. The earthy yellow flames once again surrounded Yi Huang, emitting a rolling heat wave all around her. Scared, Xiao Zhan battled and kept swallowing saliva. The internal fighting spirit is running wildly to resist high temperatures. Sensing Xiao Zhan's embarrassment, Xiao Han waved his hand and his icy fighting spirit swept through. The low temperature made Xiao Zhan shiver uncontrollably. You're trying to laugh, Yi Huang, who had a reaction, withdrew her abnormal fire and could only speak harshly in vain. All right, I won't laugh anymore. Xiao Han finally calmed down his excited heart. Then, turning to Xiao Zhan, he said, I said, are you still single? Don't you know that the age of a woman is beyond doubt? In the future, you can call her a senior. Speaking of the end, even with a hint of righteousness. Xiao Zhan still felt a bit aggrieved in his heart, and now he, who is still honest and straightforward, said, Uncle, I have already married a long time ago, and now I even have two children. Xiao Han suddenly stood still, looking at Yi Huang's mocking expression and the sincere gaze of his younger generation, all of which turned into a sharp sword that struck his heart. I. Then Xiao Han, who became angry and embarrassed, spoke in a tone that was not kind, with a hint of surprise, and said, which girl from that family has such poor taste and can take a liking to you? Xiao Zhan. What can he do when his ancestors speak up? Of course, Xiao Han did not continue this topic, where is Xiao Lin? Just now, Xiao Han subconsciously scanned the entire Xiao family with his soul power, but did not find Xiao Lin's figure. Are you disobedient and running out again? At this moment, he was already planning to let his nephew experience a kindness from his uncle. Xiao Zhan replied, Father, he has already gone to Yutan City to gather information. Not bad, your consciousness is quite high. Xiao Han praised. It seems that after so many years of being the tribal leader, the once mischievous young man has now matured quite a bit. For Xiao Han's evaluation, Xiao Zhan can only leave it unexplained. Do you want him to expose his father's secrets, saying that when he wakes up and hears Uncle Xiao Han coming, he will run away before his injury recovers? Hmm. Considering the comparison of his own combat power with his father, as a small fighter, he decided not to twist the Dou King's thigh. Satisfaction comes from satisfaction, and we cannot let go of the main business. Xiao Han instructed Xiao Zhan, now secretly gather a hundred talented and trustworthy members of the Xiao family above the Dou Master, and provide another secret room. As soon as possible. Yes. After the message was sent, Xiao Zhan asked in confusion, Is there anything so urgent, uncle? With a helpless sigh, of course it's to help you improve your strength. This person with weak cultivation insults the word weak chicken. And if you want to safely arrive at Yutan City, not to mention Dou Wang, at least Dou Ling will come and gather a bunch. Otherwise, it's unclear how many people will eventually live. Upon hearing Xiao Han's somewhat resentful words, Xiao Zhan could only express helplessness. As a member of the Xiao family who embodies all their energy, Xiao Han is indeed qualified to say this. But afterwards, it was ecstatic. What does it mean to have a bunch of doling? 
isn't it helping us upgrade to doling? He did not doubt whether Xiao Han could achieve it. This is the legendary power of Dou Sheng, which the Xiao family dare not even dream of. Is it difficult to accept such means? Seven days later, in the secret room of the Xiao family. Many members of the Xiao family looked at each other, feeling the power brought by the filled fighting spirit in their bodies, and their hearts were still somewhat unbelievable. Is it so easy to reach Doling? Their order of promotion is as follows. Arriving at the Chamber of Secrets, taking the pill, the beautiful senior patted his shoulder, breaking through. Well, the fighter goes to the Great Dosher, the Dosher goes to the Doling, and the Great Dosher goes to the higher level Doling. It's just so simple and unadorned. And what shocked them even more was that uncle was not satisfied. Time is a bit tight this time, wait until we reach Yutan City to continue. Everyone. That's right, it's a feeling of happiness. Xiao Han had Yi Huang prepare a batch of pills in advance that were enough to cultivate hundreds of Dou Wang Dou Huang, along with Yi Huang, the owner of the exotic fire. It's still too early to reach this level. The inheritance of that senior is exceptionally friendly to the urgent need for improvement of the Xiao clan. Although the cost is high, it is also relative. With just a little consumption, it is probably equivalent to the entire wealth of a low-level Dozuan powerhouse. Not to mention that Xiao Han just gained some weight. Even in the past, Yi Huang worked as a part-time 7th grade medicine refining master for Dozuan, while Xiao Han was the pinnacle of Dozuan, supported by a first-class force called Langya Pavilion. Is this thing considered a thing? After everyone left, only Xiao Zhan and his two grandparents were left in the same room. Although excited, they were also very nervous. Did you notify Xiao Lin that stinky kid has returned? Xiao Han didn't care about Xiao Zhan's pressure, let alone no. After all, in the Xiao family back then, Xiao Han was worshipped like an ancestor. He only experienced the warmth and kindness of his elders during his relatively small proportion of the Xiao family's career. Father, he should be back in about a day. Worried that Xiao Lin's slow pace would cause dissatisfaction among his uncle and elderly family, he then helped explain. After all, my father's current information cannot be exposed, and we cannot use Duki Hua Yi. It will slow down the journey on the ground. Xiao Han nodded to show understanding, ask him to come to me immediately after he comes back. Muttered, at such an old age, not even the Dou sect. Xiao Zhan. The author would like to apologize in advance as they have made significant revisions to the timeline of the original characters before the plot begins. Including but not limited to the Gamma Empire, Zhongzhou, etc., please do not worry about time and the age of the characters. Sorry again, and thank you all for your reminder. End of this chapter